Michael here? Can you come out here? I want to congratulate you on being the, uh, the winner of our Smile Makeover Contest. We've got a lot of nice people here that are really, really impressed with you. And uh, we wanted to do something nice for you. This is Tony, the gentleman that nominated you. A lot of times, the people that need it the most can't afford it. And so we went out in the community and we wanted people to nominate people they knew who they felt deserved it. And so the stories we read were just really touched our hearts and we knew that a lot of people, the first thing you notice about them is their smile. And when someone doesn't smile, that's the first thing you notice. So with Michael, his lack of willingness to smile was inconsistent with who he was. And so we knew that if we were able to help him, it would really make him 100%. So we're excited about that. It's one thing that's always bothered me about myself and it's something that I just could never afford to change. So this is a blessing I never thought I'd have. I'm speechless still. I, I'm super excited. I'm really nervous. Um, I know it's a lot of work ahead, but I'm super excited. I'm really, really grateful for everybody. I started getting really excited when I came and met with them at the dentist's office, and then just the last few weeks have been really, really nerve-wracking, just wondering if I won and if this was really going to happen, and here it is. And I didn't really feel like I was doing anything special. I was just doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm just ecstatic that he won. You know, it's... Um, it, you know, it looks like he's been through a lot, and couldn't catch a break. Um, to me, it's about him. He's he's the one that earned it. I just heard about the contest, and and uh, uh, you know because of the way he treated people, it just and, and it wasn't just a one-time thing. It was consistently. Um, you know, I just felt that I should do something for him. I uh, I want to read this letter. This letter was great, and this is a letter written by Tony and. Uh, um, and it's part of the reason that we got to know you so let me just read this i met a man about three months ago that i was greatly imp that greatly impressed upon me the kindness we should bestow upon others in my daily rush i stopped at taco bell to get a quick bite nothing unusual happened the man registered at the register was polite and efficient while waiting for my order he took everyone else's order the same as mine which gave me the impression he cared equally for all of us I sat down to eat my meal. He came through the dining area, quickly wiping tables, making the guests feel welcome. The restaurant is out of my way, but I thought I would make the trip because of the way he treated people. I returned a few days later. The man was at the register. I didn't say anything about my previous experience as I only ordered, sat down and ate. Again, the man was kind and everyone who was there working at the counter and he was cleaning tables. I've been in the restaurant on several occasions since, sometimes catching the man at work. On occasion, the place was nearly empty with only me and a young mother with four young children. The kids were restless, running, yelling, spilling food on the floor. The mother started to clean up when the man rushed over and politely said, that's my job, and it would make me happy to do it. While he was cleaning, I spoke with him about how impressed with how he treated people I was. I believe it would be a struggle for him to be unkind. I found out that his name was Michael Schmidt. He's in his mid-twenties, lives with his girlfriend's parents, and has a four-year-old son. He's trying to do his best to support his young family, but seems to be lacking confidence in himself. Michael is a small man with a big heart. Although he constantly smiles with several missing teeth, life has just not been that lucky for him. As I was talking to him about his family and getting his name, I told him why I wanted it for this smile makeover. I could see his eyes well up, but I'm not sure if he thought I would follow through. Fixing his teeth would help him on many levels. He could smile with confidence, but most importantly, he would know that people care for him as much as he cares for others. This would change his young life. I hope he wins. So I just wanted to thank Tony for, um, for writing that letter. So basically what that means is we're going to be bringing you in. We, we met you previously and again we were just so thrilled. We had uh, the, the gals in the office were 
Everybody was pulling for you, and, and we were so impressed. It was really nice to meet your girlfriend as well. And, uh, and I know that you were kind of curious about whether you're going to win, and you'd call the office, and we, we appreciate that. And I'm sorry we had to drag it out. But in order to, in, in order to get this much um, support, it took a little bit of time, and we were just really pleased with how much support we've got. So, and thank you to Taco Bell for, for allowing us to come in and surprise Michael. Thank you.